support our YouTube channel at no additional cost to yourself, simply change your Amazon bookmark to one with our affiliate code or use our affiliate code next time you go to make an Amazon purchase. The link to the affiliate code will be in the description below, along with a link to a video explaining more about the process. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Paul here from Paul Does Tech, and today we are taking a look at the subs that broke the windshield again. Here with my dad, he's going to help me out with all the... Uh, making sure I don't electrocute myself. So the first order of business is we have our JL amp, the Audio JX 501D. And so instead of trying to mess around with taking these out, we're just going to take this whole thing off, leave it in the back of the car, and just cover it up with like a towel or something. So the plan is we are going to disconnect the actual amp from the subwoofer box and then we're going to come over here and disconnect the power ground and sound from the subwoofers and tape it off so we don't electrocute ourselves and we're going to slide this big old base right out of here so let's get right on that Alright, so we're just about ready to get this box off here, taking the last screw out. And so that means the amp will then just be laying in my trunk. And hopefully the people that are going to warranty my windshield don't see it. And hopefully they certainly don't watch this video. <laughs> yeah, actually pretty long screws. The guy who put it in must have knew what he was doing because that's, that's at least a good inch and a half, I'd say. So alright, so the sub's out. Not the sub, the amp is out with a lot of pretzel salt on there because of my golf bag leaking salt everywhere. So there is my ampless subwoofer. Now we just have to come around here, disconnect our two wires we want to take it from off. the side of the box. Like this, we'll take it off and then put it back in so we know okay. where it's at. Yep, so now we have to unscrew the box brackets. So pretty simple here, just an L bracket, nothing complicated. Just gotta get these bad boys off. All right, the box is finally disconnected. There's my dad, we got it, got it disconnected, it's free now. We can pretty much just take it out. All right, now we're taking the wires out. My dad just has to do the uh, little push down, pull out on the wire and connect the electrical tape. So when I start the car, I do not catch myself and the car on fire. Wires and everything have been successfully disconnected and I can't imagine only one of us is going to be able to lift this at a time, so we're both going to have to get it. I'll put the camera down and show you when we have it out. All right, project completed, guys. Now just to hide all the evidence that we ever had subwoofers so they can replace my broken windshield up there under warranty. I mean, they didn't say anything about the subs voiding the warranty, but we're not going to risk it. Here's the back of the car without the subs. They do take up a lot of room, and they are extremely heavy. Took them in the house so they don't get wet. Project well done. Simple video guys, just wanted to show you how it was done. It was easy. We didn't take the wires out of the actual amp, so that makes it a heck of a lot easier. But uh, yeah, I probably have to do this more than once in my life, so it's good to figure it out. Actually really simple because the guy I had installed it for me did it very well. That's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and have a wonderful day. Grill. Get fresh off the grill, get fresh off the grill, nigga, keepin' it hot. Get fresh off the grill, get fresh off the grill, let them bounce in the hopper, nigga, you can't stop me.